Okay, let's see where Jose is doing. First things first, we need to find his location. So Jose's at the delivery, huh? What's worth Ohio? Yeah, yeah, he's in the facility, right? Okay, this means we can start searching for a load for Jose. So this is a Conestoga flatbed origin ones worth Ohio. G4, G5, zip zones today, length, it's a 53, and we can scale 46. Let's go and see, all right, what we got here? Hopkins, Minnesota, Iowa, Dangerich, hmm, Twick. Now let's call this guy. Let's try. Hey, good morning, sir. My name is Alex. I'm calling on Cleveland, Ohio to Dangerous Tennessee Load. I have a Conestoga. Hey, sir. Uh, good morning. Cleveland, Ohio to Dangerous Tennessee load? Uh, yes, sir. It's going to be a load of two skidded coils in the port of Cleveland. Uh, so your driver's going to need a Twig Carter $60 for the escort. Uh, they ship seven to one, first come, first serve. Uh, Dangerous is a 24 hour receiver, first come, first serve. Um, it's going to cost 46,000 pounds. Uh, truck's going to need two rubber mats. Chains and binders, four inch shafts with edge protectors, and four foot drop tarps. We're paying twenty four hundred to the truck. Let's do it. Okay, so can you can you make twenty five for the with the with the escort fee? I could do twenty five, sir. Can you check my MC? Yeah, sure. What is it? Nine seven eight eight. One four. Nine seven eight eight one four. Yes. Like we gotta get set up, sir. Okay. It's a good email address I could send their carrier packet to. Sure. It's Silkway Transport. At gmail.com. Okay. And a good callback number for you, sir? Yeah, my direct line is 424 367. Okay. All right. Again, my name is Jim. Give me a couple of minutes and uh, you'll see your carrier packet in your email. All right. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Bye. Probably a lot of people are not taking this uh, load because it requires a Twig card. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio to Dangerous, Tennessee. That's like Knoxville, so I guess it's a good load. So Dangerous. How far is it from Knoxville? And it's only 30 miles away. So let's check Knoxville for tomorrow. By the way, Jose needs to be home tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, on Friday. So we got to check for... Today? 
tomorrow. So, oh shoot, there is nothing from. <clears throat> no Conestogas. Shoot. It's a bad luck, man. All right, now let's search for Fernando, who is in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, today. But his truck is not 53 foot; it's 48 foot. Let's see what we got at Greensboro, North Carolina. Thompson, okay. 25. Yeah, I guess I'm going to send an email to this, to this guy. <clears throat> okay. We have not received we have not received a valid response. Please try again. Hey, rates are kind of down today, huh? Or are they okay? What do you guys think? Rates. Man, I should have taken that load for 2000 yesterday. Now it's posted for 16 today. All right. Um, shoot. All right, let's see what we got here. I'm currently out of office. All right, got it. Got it, got it. Let's see what's going on here. RDF. Oh man. Um, attractive said the receiver now. Yeah, Zatan Lodo. Wait, uh, wait. Uh, Send me the No, not the girl. Zatan Lodo, you take. Really? Yeah, that will work. Uh, it's actually uh, there are 40 miles away. Okay, so it's a new company and we need to get set up. All right. Oh, all right, let's see. It says RDF trucking. RDF trucking and then we need to open it with uh, Adobe Acrobat. Okay, so we this. So today is 15th. Under 47,000 pounds, uh, still tubing, and paying 2 grand. 15 days of June 2022. And. 2 grand. Yeah. Silkway transporting. 
Twenty-nine MC number. Mm, okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This is one of the easy just, setups. Uh, the, just think and let me know. All right. RDF trucking broker carrier. So, transport Inc. Authorized signature. Okay. President's name. to um, so we save this RDF trucking save replace I got it now we need can you send yeah, this couple of insurance in W9? All right, to reply all. Current insurance in W9. Setup complete. Thank you. All right, that's good. RDF done. Boom. Hmm. Okay. All right, what's well, worth? That low did not work out. So we need to find something else. Worth. Let's see what's in. Are you guys working with logistic dynamics? Are we approved? Are we good? Yes. Okay. But they're already giving nice, good price. PGT. Wilkesboro, 864 miles. Hello, sir. Um, I have a load that's posted uh, from North Carolina to Sun Prairie, Wisconsin, that I'm looking at right now. Is it available for tomorrow as well? I mean, for 17th? Friday from 8 to 3.30 by appointment, and then receive 7 to 
Hey, uh, is this also loading Conestoga? I believe they're circling the flatbed. Only flatbed, no Conestogas, huh? Yeah. All right, thanks for checking. Yep, that's fine. Bye-bye. See, it's kind of important to check if Conestoga is working. Because if you send your driver and then Conestoga don't work, you're... You're screwed. Who do we have? Who do we have? We have Jose, we have... No, I canceled that load. Because, uh, I mean, loads are so down. I don't know what's going on. I hope, I hope it is early. I hope, I hope you're right, Ali. So you're saying you're always right? Yeah. Never left? No. Okay. Hey, sir. Good morning. I'm calling on Ohio to Chattanooga, Tennessee, low. Yeah, I still got that one. Let me pull it up. For today? Yeah, for today, Conestoga. Got it. Alrighty. Uh, looks like for this one, we need a flat that needs to be an open deck. Can't do a Conestoga. Sorry about that. All right. Thanks so much for checking. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. Alright. Canada's good. 550 miles. No. <laughs> yep. Somebody's prob probably calling this load big time. Please continue to stay on the line. I'm on the line, still on the line, waiting on the line, still on the line, waiting on the line, waiting on the line. Things hold, things hold. Okay, let's try this number now. Same thing. Same thing. Same music. Different number. Yeah. Uh huh. So seductive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll take you to the candy shop. I'm messing up the speed. Yes. There's not much I can do, ma'am. Just staying on the line. I love to stand on line, holding for you, waiting for you. Sure. Yeah. Uh huh. So seductive. <laughs> Come on, Ryan Transportation. You're booking this load with somebody for sure. Give me that load. Give me that load. Cory, Cory, Cory. Fifth wheel freight. In the meantime, let's check how Detroit is doing for tomorrow.
Yep. That's all I can do. Hey, sir, I'm calling on Milwaukee to Detroit, Michigan load. Alright, thank you. I thought so. Somebody just covered, you know, while I was holding. They were covering it, you know. Hey, Cody. Um, you we posted the Ohio to Alabama load. Alabama? Yeah, that is available. Uh, no more than the post way, a full truckload of synthetic Yeah. Uh, take and deliver 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Yeah, for the temperature of both sides. And uh, yeah, my very, very best rate on that would be uh, 1500 Hey, can you make 18 I mean, I want to do this. My customer is dirt cheap. How this works is, this is one of my biggest customers. He gives these quotes out to multiple different brokers, mm -hmm. whoever has the best rate with them. I do this like pretty frequently. I can give you 1550, absolute, absolute best, man. 1550? Yes, sir. Man, that is really cheap, man. I mean. I, 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 I do this yeah. very frequently. I know gas is outrageous right now. Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, there's really not much I can do. I'm sorry. I can try. Yeah, 1550 would be the absolute best. That's can you? Can you? Can you ask 16 at least? I can ask 16. What's your? Nine seven, eight eight one four. Alex. Alex. The dryer is empty 50 miles away. That's my. This is my direct line. You can call me back. Okay. Thanks. Hey, Mike. Good morning, sir. Chicago to Montgomery, Alabama. Load. I have a kind of stoga. Sure, nine seven eight eight one four. Gotcha. Sorry, my system's taking one second. Sure. Uh, okay, so this one is going to be picking up in Carroll Stream, Illinois, just outside of Chicago. It's going to be picking up first come, first serve today. Uh, they're open 24 hours out there. And it's going to be going down to Montgomery, Alabama. Um, showing me delivery on Friday, beginning at 7 a.m. out there. Um, not Thursday, not tomorrow? Yeah, I was going to say, I can check if that one can go uh, tomorrow. Um, showing me that it's going to be about 47,000 pounds. Um, Conestogas will work. And 47? If it's 47, we, we can't scale that. We can only scale 46. Okay, let me double check with her if this, can, if this is actually uh, uh, 47 on it. Okay. Yeah, I tell you what, she's usually got these at 46,000 pounds. Um, this one came over as uh, 47 on the weight, though. Gotcha. Thanks so much. Yep. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yep. Bye-bye. Son of a gun, 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 son of a gun. Trans loop posted again for 44 now.
Let's try this one now. Tony, thank you for calling Transblue. Thank you for the really simple as team. Your call is being transferred. Your phone is different, right? You mean this uh, wrong calls? TQL, yes. Hello? Hey, what's going on? Hey, sir. Um, good morning. I'm calling on Chicago to Montgomery, Alabama load. Yeah, tell me it's a team. Hmm? Take a look. Or sit So, which number is going to be? Yes, sir. We have those available to pick up today. Uh, 24 hours. Right, right uh, Sweet. You can deliver to Montgomery, Alabama so, uh, yeah, on crazy. Friday anytime, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Not tomorrow? Yeah, we'll get uh, I can check if we can go tomorrow. I'm not How positive if I can check. And can you also uh, check the weight? Uh, yeah, the weight on it can be 47,000 uh, 47? Yep. You guys have it posted for 44. Uh, you say in Uh, yeah, it's 47 on these, but. Got it. Thanks so much for checking. Yeah, yeah thank you. Bye-bye. Because he will do it. For Nuruli, I don't know. Hmm, okay. Which one we're going to give? And at that moment, I realized um, I wasn't recording, so... But I ended up covering that truck, the other truck that was in Milwaukee. Um, so the funny thing is that I covered that truck, but then that load was canceled. So what happened is this truck was in Milwaukee. Uh, I got a load from Gary, Indiana to uh, Alabama. I think it was uh, Huntsville. Yeah, it was Huntsville, Alabama. No, it was Pelham, Alabama. Uh, Alabama these days is a good area to take our flatbed Conestogas to, to get out um, from Alabama is good. So I booked a load from Gary to Pelham, Alabama, but eventually it got canceled because when the truck arrived to the de uh, to the pickup, it turned out that someone picked up that load. So our pickup numbers didn't work because the shipper said, "Hey, somebody else, somebody else picked up this load," and then. Uh, so it ended up getting canceled, but the broker promised to pay us uh, truck nut use. So truck nut use is when you book a load, you arrive to the shipper, and then they tell you that the load is not ready or the load is not going to be ready until tomorrow. Or like, uh, I mean, they will tell you that you're not going to get loaded, basically. So or someone picked up the load. In our case, someone picked up our load. And so... But broker asked if we want to pick it up tomorrow morning. I said, we can't. I got to cover this truck today so he doesn't lose one day. So we ended up canceling that load. Broker promised, like I said, to pay Tonu. We call it Tonu, truck order not used. And she promised to pay 200 bucks. And then I you know, start, started searching because it was already in the afternoon. And like I said in the previous video, afternoons are really risky because... Most of the facilities, especially if you're trying to cover a flatbed, uh, facilities really get closed like by 3 p.m. So it was tough, but uh, I got lucky. I ended up finding a load that was only like 290 miles, loaded miles, and it was picking up in Gary, which uh, the truck was at, and I got it for $1,400, which is good. And I can show you the rate confirmation over here. So, uh, yeah, it's pick, it picked up in Gary. The truck is actually loaded and rolling. Let me put me away a little bit over here. So, like you see here, it's picking, it's picking up in Gary. I mean, it's picked up in Gary, Indiana. And um, where is it? It's 41,000 pounds. It's actually 38, I think. Oh no, this one this one was the one that got canceled, okay? So like you see here, I got it for $2,000 for 648 miles. I did 120 miles deadhead, but overall, I this was a good load because it was three barks per mile going to get good area. Uh, but like I said, it got canceled. And then I found this one over here. It's also in Gary, Indiana, which was good. My truck didn't have to do any deadhead. It was like five miles away. And I got it for $1,400, like you see here. And, um, yeah, it's going to Ohio tomorrow morning. It's delivering to Ohio. And, you know, 
just I want to take this opportunity and kind of show you around the rate confirmation. So basically, this is the rate confirmation, and it's with a company that's called Shark Logistics. So basically, rate confirmation is just an agreement between uh, you, the carrier, and the broker who will give you all the details about the load once you book it, and then you can look at the details, you can look at the shipper address, you can look at the um, weight, quantity of the product, uh, some uh, pickup numbers. In this case, we got a description of um, the product tags, and then some notes, driver must inspect sheets, coils, doesn't have strains, and the product was skidded coils in this case. And then this is the delivery address. Sometimes they call it con consignee, consignee. So anyways, this is the delivery address. And then again, same thing, weight, and some notes, load delivering to rapid metals, etc. cetera. Um, and at the bottom, in the bottom, at the bottom, you can see that uh, there is my signature, basically just my name, the date, pickup pick up date, uh, driver name, driver phone number, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that's that's about it. So it turned out good, and but there was also uh, there's one more thing that I want to share with you in this video, is that I so when I booked this load, I kind of wanted to see what's in Ohio for tomorrow, okay? What's in this area? I was uh, you know scrolling through different lanes and different options for tomorrow. And then I ran into one short load. I usually don't do short loads, but this one was just crazy because it was picking up like uh, all, just maybe like 27 miles away. And it was only 13 miles loaded and they were paying $400. $400. And I thought maybe I'll take him to Cleveland, Ohio, which is a good area. Uh, and it's only like total would be like 40 miles with deadhead so he will deliver this load not the I mean the previous load the one over here and then he would pick up I mean deliver it in the morning first thing in the morning and then go and pick this up and then deliver it maybe like by noon hopefully and then make 400 bucks and then I could I will probably search uh, for some loads from Cleveland Ohio all right so at the end of the day, it all turned out good for me and my driver. So this is pretty much how my day goes. Of course, I didn't, um, I, I paused the recording sometimes, but pretty much the action, you saw the action and you saw what's going on in the office. We're having fun. You know, sometimes we're talking to each other, asking questions, asking for tips, advices, like, you know, sometimes when I'm not sure, about the area, I ask my colleagues, I say, hey, what do you guys think about this load or blah, blah, blah. And sometimes it's helpful. They say, hey, did you check uh, the commodity or like, did you check if you have the necessary equipment for this kind of load and all of these kind of things. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. Uh, this video was to show uh, how dispatching actually looks sounds from inside it's it's really it's super easy it's it just takes time you know when i first came i did not know any of it when i first saw the rate confirmation i was i was like lost you know but now i'm pretty confident and uh, by the way i work with uh, flatbeds conestogas in, in particular so I'm going to be posting more videos uh, going in greater detail to uh, certain specifics of this uh, industry, of this, uh, I guess, profession, you could say. Is it a profession? Yeah, I think it's a profession. But you don't really need any, um, I guess, like expert skills to become a truck dispatcher. And I'll talk about them in later videos. Peace.